going to understand what is the difference between d apps or decentralized applications and dao which we call as decentralized autonomous organization so we'll understand the difference between so like this is basically a terminology which we most used in blockchain is when we talk about blockchain so we these keywords from the lot like uh, we are building a decentralized app uh what's the difference between dao and what is the difference between uh traditional apps and d apps and uh, dao so uh we'll uh explore these out we'll understand the difference between and it will be an interesting video please do like share and subscribe my channel to get the most interesting videos like this and this video is a, a continuation series with the what introduction to blockchain so if you have not watched my video what is blockchain and introduction to blockchain please refer to that video it will be better you and it will be better you will understand the things better in this app in this lecture so basically we'll go through what is d app so d app basically means decentralized app and uh, let me d apps so basically means centralized app so for an application to be a d app there are certain parameters and condition that needs to be uh, justified for an uh, application to uh, fall in the under this category so there are, let's discuss one by one so one the very first is it should be open source any application to be qualified for the application the code should be open source the second one is it should operate or uh, autonomously the third one will be no single entity controlling the application and so basically it should be open to adopt protocols open to adopt protocols the reason for that is that because in uh protocols uh, we have a new innovations going on each and every day so it should be open to adopt uh, protocols in response to propose improvement as per the market feedback so like if there but basics there's a condition that it should be approved by consensus so it should follow the rule of consensus so if we talk about d apps so they're in markets if we talk about d app so basically there are of uh, three types so like type 1 d app type 2 d app and type 3 d app so what's the difference between type 1 d app type 2 d app and type 3 d app so type 1 d app has basically its uses its own blockchain so it has its own blockchain The very common example is Bitcoin. In type 2D application, decentralized application, they use uh, type 1, uses type 1 decentralized app. So uses type 1 D app. But they have their own protocols and tokens that are necessary for their function sorry for their function example will be omni protocol now what's the difference between type 2 and type 3 so the same way they use this type 2 d app decentralized application they even have their own protocols and tokens to get the function work but example if we talk about safe network it uses omni protocol it uses 
ओमनी प्रोटोकॉल टू जनरेट सेफ कॉइंस सो बेसिकली दिस इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन टाइप वन डिसेंट्रलाइज एप्लीकेशन एंड टाइप टू डिसेंट्रलाइज एप्लीकेशन एंड टाइप थ्री डिसेंट्रलाइज एप्लीकेशन वेल नाउ जम टू डी एओ I think my stylus is not working. Yeah, DAO. So basically, decentralized autonomous organization. So what's the requirement of this, and why we talk about? So basically, if we understand by the scenario, let's understand with the thing that. earlier when we want to do a air shoot we need a helicopter we need a cameraman we need a pilot so nowadays we use as drone so basically that reduces the dependency on the human and human intervention has been reduced but uh, till date we don't have a complete uh, autonomous or uh, this thing so when we talk about do we want to make sure that there is no human intervention is needed for example let's say uh, when we are uh, take, using a drone to take a photo shoot uh, we, we that needs to be controlled by a remote a battery is uh, battery is down it needs to be recharged or replaced and if something is uh, gone wrong or something accident happen its part needs to be fixed and replaced uh, for the drone so these are some scenarios but Uh, ideally if we talk about do so the drone should have the capability to send a server a message like my battery is low uh, my, i need to replace the battery or it needs to be charged up and this, uh, the hardware or the software is degrading or this there's a bug needs to be fixed or my hardware is going down uh, it's a, there's a wear and tear happening of the hardware so that needs to be replaced so there's no human intervention should be needed for that dao so these are some of uh, the uh, parameters for a do to get it done like uh, and from where this dao comes down so dao basically comes from the ethereum community okay and they basically lives on internet dao and exists autonomously so example is gitcoin the dao meta cartel and maker dao so these are some examples of dao so this is the basic difference between da app and uh, decentralized organization and please do like and share and subscribe the video uh more videos will be releasing soon so and press the bell icon to get notified about the videos let me know and share uh, let me know in the comments how you like the video any particular topic you want uh, me to uh, discuss on this and thank you all have a great day